So, hi guys and welcome to this tutorial. This is my first narrative tutorial. So, sorry for my English because it's not my native. And if I pronounce something wrong, please forgive me. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. And in this tutorial, we are going to make some urban props and implement it into Unreal 4 engine. So, let's move on and start. Okay, so shift right click, poly cylinder, click on white square, choose high divisions 2 and axis divisions 6. Click apply, W, activate it, translate tool and now we can reposition our cylinder. Okay. Optimization purposes. Let's delete vertex with Shift, right click, delete it. Now select edges, Shift, right click, edges, and select edges. And with Scale tool, shortcut R, let's scale it down. And with Translate tool W, let's move. So use these two tools, Translate and Scale tools tool to make some adjustments. Now let's, let's select two vertices and shift, right click, connect components. So now we have better topology. Now let's delete this vertex and delete this face because we don't need it. Double click will select the ring so translate it and scale it down. Click on Y axis will make it yellow, so you can manipulate it only. Now uh, make these edges harden and select these edges and make it soften with shift right click. Of course, with shift right click select vertex and now select uh, only one axis. And w when you press V you can click with middle mouse on other vertex and it will snap selected vertex to the vertex you will click. <laughs> Sorry for that construction. Okay, now select uh, these edges and make the form of traffic cone more square. Okay, now we will optimize a little bit our model so uh, with the vertex match tool we can merge unnecessary vertices okay double click on edges and shift right click extrude and extrude edges on y axis you can snap. Okay, uh, now let's adjust a little bit our traffic cones form. Uh, maybe make uh, this part a little bit. Oh, if you have some such problem in Maya, uh, shift right click, select edge, select uh, some edges and deselect it. Uh, this is an issue in Maya, this is a bug. So now uh, let's scale down our cone. Uh, okay. And adjust it a little bit more. Of course you can use reference to make this form more interesting. Now we're going to make UVs, so click on create UVs automatic. Now open UV texture editor and let's select these edges and shift right click uh, up to move and sew. Move and sew UVs. Shift, right click, 
UV and you can with the control uh, select just one uh, just one vertex and with control like click adjust the selection to shell so now let's make some adjustments with these tools we can make make it more interesting so when we make a straight in uh, select all vertexes and right click right right uh, click and shift in unfold UVs so that's it for now uh, with Ctrl A you can go to attribute editor and rename our mesh uh, for example to traffic on so okay now let's move on and make a palette. So this is my reference. Uh, right click, right click, shift, and let's create polycube. Okay, move it there. And now we're going to create basic form for palette. Audit plan. So after creating this form, uh, we're making a UV, and uh, I've selected. And traffic on because I want to make one texture for both of them. So uh, I'm combining UVs for these two meshes. So I'm continuing to make some adjustments and after I make uh, some scale adjustments uh, I'm going to adjust UVs with unfold UVs. Now we can use uh, just one plan to make other. So uh, we can choose face and snap it as we have did before.
So we continue to use the same planks to create other ones. And let's make some adjustments in place to make more unique view and more realistic as well. Now let's combine all lengths and it will be one object, one mesh. And adjust UVs. I will make some adjustments So our mesh for the palette is now ready and let's take it to the scene. So, okay, that's all for part one, and thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.